guys, guys. Welcome, welcome back to BSNN7. Today we'll be talking about climate change. <laughs> Over 97% of scientists agree that human activity has been a large contributor to the warming of the Earth's climate. Yet over 100 members of Congress do not believe or have strong doubts about climate change and its intensity. Many people believe that climate change is a hoax, especially because it was previously recognized as global warming by a lot of scientists. The term global warming can be seen as false due to the fact that some colder areas are still considered cold. The fact is that temperatures are rising, but it isn't all going to happen overnight. So far, the global temperature, which is an average of the temperatures over the entirety of the planet, has risen about 0.8 degrees Celsius or 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit since the year of 1880. Another reason why people think climate change is a hoax is because they personally still experience extreme weathers, especially during the winter and summer seasons. The Midwest tends to lean towards the belief of climate change being a hoax since the winters are still fairly cold and receive lots of snow, but they do not look at the statistics that show the winter temperatures are slowly rising and summer temperatures are as well. People also choose to not believe in climate change because some scientists claim that there is no specific known cause of climate change. There have been many investigations about human activity and the impact that we have on climate change, but people still refuse to believe that their everyday activities are slowly killing our planet. Whether or not you believe in climate change, you can and should try as best as you can to make our planet healthier. Reducing your carbon footprint is vital towards saving our planet and the organisms living on it. Some easy steps would be buying reusable cups and grocery bags, driving less and carpooling more, or buying an eco-friendly car, advocating for the restoration of forests, prevention of offshore drilling, and many more human-related activities that will ultimately cause detrimental harm upon our environment and the organisms living on it. The biggest step you can take is to talk. Talk about this issue and how prevalent it is in society today, and educate those around you. It is important to start saving our planet now rather than waiting for it to reach extreme measures. Now to our next segment about the history of climate change and its importance, brought to you by Alar Kazemi. Why is this issue important, you ask? To get to the point, we live in the environment, so if we don't take care of our home, then we're not going to have anywhere to live. To get into some background information about the downfall of the climate, it came around the time of the Industrial Revolution as factories released large amounts of greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere, water, and soil. From then to now, the climate has changed significantly. The global temperature has risen around 1.62 degrees Fahrenheit since the 19th century. The top layer of the oceans have absorbed more than half a degree Fahrenheit since the 1970s. The Arctic ice sheets have lost 286 billion tons of ice between 1993 and 2016. And the global sea level has risen around 8 inches in the last century along with other ramifications caused by factors like excessive pollution and the increased use of greenhouse gases. In the Constitution, one responsibility that the government has is to provide for the common defense and general welfare. And a big factor that affects the general welfare is the environment. The government needs to make sure that its citizens are living in a clean and safe environment that can not only support current generations, but future ones as well. And now to Hased Jung with the next segment. Climate change is a controversial topic with many misconceptions. For example, many people today believe that since the climate is always changing and has changed many times in the past, before humans began burning coal and oil, this means that there is no reason to believe that humans are causing global warming today. However, the Trump administration recently released a dire scientific report calling human activity the dominant driver of global warming. Furthermore, the report affirmed that climate change is driven almost entirely by human action warns of a potential sea level rise as high as 8 feet by the year 21,000 and details climate-related damage across the U.S. that is already unfolding as a result of 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit of global warming since 1900. Quote, it is extremely likely that human influence has been the dominant cause of the observed warming since the mid-20th century, the document reports. For the warming over the last century, there is no convincing alternative explanation supported by the extent of the observational evidence. As of now, carbon dioxide concentration is at an all-time high as a result of human activities. Meanwhile, deforestation is removing the planet's natural carbon dioxide filters, causing more than 97% of climate scientists currently publishing papers on the issue to agree that human beings are causing the Earth to warm at a highly accelerated rate. Another misconception is that it is very easy to believe that just a few degrees higher will not harm the Earth. 
Although a few degrees may seem insignificant, global temperatures are rising, with the greatest increase happening in the last 35 years. Oceans are warming as a result and at a faster rate than previously believed. Sea levels are also rising and oceans are becoming increasingly acidic from absorbed carbon dioxide. In addition, shrinking ice sheets and damage from fires, floods, and mining are so significant that they can be seen from outer space. During the last ice age, which ended 12,000 years ago, the world's average temperature was only 4 to 5 degrees cooler than it is today. Yet those few degrees have made a drastic difference. Parts of Britain were under a mile of ice and sea levels were about 100 meters lower than they currently are. We've seen just over one degree over the last century and we're seeing real effects and impacts of climate change on nature and people all over the world. The rise in global temperatures that we're experiencing is caused by increasing greenhouse gas emissions, which affects weather patterns and ecosystems in complex ways, making storms, floods, droughts, and other extreme events more likely. Another common rumor around climate change is that carbon dioxide is not harming the environment. Instead, it is a necessary green gas which plants and trees need to grow. Yes, it is true that plants need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis as humans need oxygen for respiration. In fact, the world's forests store and cycle huge amounts of carbon. However, there is a limit to the amount that they can be stored in a given woodland area. And with deforestation increasing, this limit is getting lower and lower. Carbon dioxide itself does not cause problems. It is part of the natural global ecosystem. The problem is caused by the quantity being released by human activity. There hasn't been this level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere for over 800,000 years. Our carbon emissions are contributing to the greenhouse effect, trapping heat and making the earth warmer. Lastly, a very inaccurate misconception is that climate change and global warming is a conspiracy made up to make money. Climate change has been verified by almost every nation or state today in some form, and it is important to focus on the reality of climate change because it needs to be combated in this generation before the damage becomes irreversible. And now back to the desk with all our broadcasters. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into this week's broadcast. We hope to see you next week with some juicy new BS. See you next time! Where should I leave off?